Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1984 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Kansas City Royals at Royal Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Jeff Robinson, whose record is 4-4 four four with a 374 ERA. And pitching for the Royals today is Keith Creel, whose record is 13-10 with a 411 ERA. Well, the struggles continue as the Tigers lost to uh, what might become the Cy Young Award a winner for the American League. Mark Langston uh, pitched really well, hung in there uh, as the uh, Mariners gave up a couple early runs. And uh, the Tigers had the lead, and then our bullpen completely melted down in the eighth inning, and uh, that was the ball game. You know, it seems like now, in these, what, five of six losses? Is that where we're at now? We've lost four in a row in five of six. Um, you know, it's, it seems like one element of our team screws it up for everybody every game. And last night it was the bullpen. Two runs would have been enough to win uh, the way uh, we were pitching up to the point of bringing in uh, Dave Gumpert, who comes in and gives up a home run on the very first pitch to tie the ball game. Um, and even then, I thought, well, maybe we could still pull it out. But it just wasn't meant to be, I guess, is, is what we're getting at. Um, kudos to uh, Brian Kelly, who, who did pitch well. Uh, so, you know what? We just pack up our gear. We go to Kansas City, and we face the Royals, who we just swept at home. So you have to feel like we've got a chance. Um, Jeff Robinson will get a start today. Uh, he will get... A uh, start in place of Danny Jackson, who uh, did not pitch particularly well in his uh, three starts in the month of August. And so Jeff Robinson gets his role back here uh, in the month of September, and he will be the fifth starter, um, you know, from uh, until the end of the season. So let's go ahead and get started with today's ball game. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. We do have a new uh, baseball card video today. It's part of the reprint series. It's two blaster boxes of 2020 Panini Prism draft picks in which we pulled two autographs uh, from two autographs numbered to 99. What a weird uh, coincidence that was. And one of those autographs is of a pitcher who pitches for the Angels? Is it Shohei Otani? No, he wouldn't be in the draft box. But it's a pitcher that was drafted uh, the year before. So check out uh, that video. It's a lot of fun. I'll put it at the end of, the, uh, of this video here today. Now we got Jeff Robinson starting. We need something good from him today. And all the bullpen is available. Um, who did I take out of there? Uh, somebody was listed as tired, and I uh, took them out and put in Jeff Montgomery. It would have been a right-handed arm, and I've already forgot who that could be. But nonetheless, uh, Jeff Montgomery is in the bullpen today. Here's our lineup versus the right-hander, Keith Creel. Um, Whitaker listed as tired. He'll be out. Glenn Wilson listed as tired. He is out. Um, I sent down somebody, and I pulled up Eddie Milner so he could make his Tiger debut. Uh, he was on the Reds. He came over in the deal with uh, Tom Browning. Uh, we sent down someone who wasn't being productive, and I think I would like to have a better center field defensive option when Willie Wilson is tired. So we may see um, Eddie Milner in pinch running situations and playing defensively in center field uh, instead of Kevin Bass. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup rundown. We do have one new batter in the lineup today. Batting leadoff playing center field is Willie Wilson. Batting second at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Kenny Smith. 
Batting fifth at third base is George Brett. Batting sixth and catching is Terry Kennedy. Batting seventh and making his season debut is Jeff Stone as the DH. Batting eighth in right field is Kevin Bass. And batting ninth playing second base today is Dougie Baker. Okay, Keith Creel on the mound. Maybe the best pitcher on the Royals staff. Making his 30th start of the year. He's 13 and 10 with a 4-11 ERA. 93 strikeouts in 205 and two-third innings pitched. So he doesn't walk many. He doesn't, uh, I'm sorry, doesn't strike out many. He doesn't walk many. Opponents are betting 263 against him. Six complete games. Two shutouts. Fastball tops out at 91 miles an hour. He's only got one pitch. A fastball is just above league average, rated in 82. A couple other pitches below league average. Overall rated in 81 to 25. Eligible after next year. Looking at his log, he was in the All-Star game. Forgot about that. Baltimore beat him. He threw a complete game. In fact, he's thrown back-to-back -back complete games. He went nine innings against Baltimore, giving up one run on three hits. He did not walk anyone. He struck out five. So two tremendously good performances in a row for Keith Creel. Let's take a look at the defense for the Royals. We're at Royal Stadium, and no one in the outfield is any good. Looks like they have one September call-up in there, maybe two. They have DJ Dozier, football player and ball, uh, baseball player. Uh, in left field, they got uh, Jose Gonzalez in center field, another September call-up. Right field is Daryl Motley, so the whole outfield is terrible. The entire infield, with the exception of Gary Templeton, is below league average, and Don Slott has a below average arm behind the plate. I mean, you got to like our chances here. Okay, Willie Wilson, first time coming back to Royal Stadium since the trade. He will lead off versus Keith Creel. Fly ball to left field. And Willie Wilson's average under 300 now. One out for Alan Trammell. Trammell with a ground ball to third. I am expecting a package today that is going to contain the grand prize for the giveaway that will take place at the conclusion uh, of game 162. Uh, so when that arrives later this afternoon, uh, probably tomorrow, I will do a I Got This video in which I will reveal the prizes for the first and third place for the contest um, and then all the other good stuff that's going to be in that box. That's part of my own personal collection from back in Michigan. So stay tuned for that tomorrow, hopefully. Two quick outs. Here is Gibson. Kirk Gibson will take a walk. And we are going to run here. Gibson is looking for his 30th stolen base. We're not really putting personal records uh, above the team, but Gibson should be able to make this one pretty easily. He does. And there it is. Gibson's first career 30 stolen base season. He's 23 home runs, 30 stolen bases. I'd love for him to get seven more dongs, but... Probably not likely. We got Gibson in scoring position for Kenny Smith, who is a shell of himself. 0-1 count. And a ground ball to short. And that will do it. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a look at this Royals lineup. Batting leadoff, playing left field, is the 18-year-old rookie, DJ Dozier. <laughs> Batting second at second base is Andy Stankowitz. Batting third and catching is Don Slott. Batting cleanup playing first base is Fred McGriff. Batting fifth and right field is Daryl Motley. Batting sixth and DHing is Phil Lombardi. Batting seventh at third base is Rance Mullenix. Batting eighth in center field is Jose Gonzalez, 19 year old. And batting ninth is Gary Templeton, the shortstop. He's getting all the money. All right. Jeff Robinson on the mound. He's having an okay uh, rookie season. I mean, he did have a cup of coffee last year. But this is his 16th start. He's 4-4 four four with a 374 ERA. 57 strikeouts and 86 innings pitched. 
Opponents are betting 218 against him. No complete games. Fastball tops out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 50.6%. His splitter is his out pitch rated in 88. And he's got a fastball above league average at 83. Overall, he is rated in 86. The 22-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the 87th season. Look at his log. Uh, so he had a no decision in his last start. He was horrible, and that was why we pulled him out of there. He went one and two-thirds, giving up five runs on four hits and two walks, hit a batter, and uh, that was way back on August 13th. So he spent um, the last month or so uh, in AAA, where he's got an 8-2 and two record with a 173 ERA. So... Let's see how he does today. Take a look at our defense. Looking pretty good everywhere in the infield. We got Baker at second base today. And uh, that's really the only difference. Oh, and Kevin Bass is in right field, which is his normal position. Okay, DJ Dozier, 18-year-old rookie. Why not stick him in the leadoff spot? Robinson. 0-2 count. Gets him to pop it up into shallow center field where Trammell makes the catch. One out. Here's Andy Stankowitz. Almost everybody in this lineup is a rookie. There's a couple of veterans, but those are the ones that are probably on the last year of their contract. Don Slot with two down. Pops it up. Right to to Robinson. Is he going to catch it? Robinson drops it! Oh, no, it's the catcher! Kennedy, somebody should have called for it. Kennedy makes a unforced error. I'm not too happy about that. I don't like what that uh, usually uh, entails, which is like a, a, a burst of runs being scored. Fred McGriff with the base hit. Yeah, so this game is over. Oh, I know it's going to be caught. It's going to be caught in center field. Talk about being premature. We go to the top of the second inning. And George Brett comes home to face his old teammates. He pops it up. Yeah, our team is in really bad shape. We're not getting hits. We're not hitting home runs. Uh, so so from our starting pitchers, and our bullpen is garbage. And we are in real trouble. Here's Jeff Stone. Look at that 94 power and 96 speed. I mean, a really good contact hitter. He's not going to walk much. But uh, this guy, he might be on our roster out of spring training next year. And he strikes out. Bob and so. Dale Motley popping out into foul territory. One down. Next up is Phil Lombardi. Hot shot to first. Smith making the play. Here's Rance Mullenix. He's on the last year of his contract. Almost won a batting title. Now he's batting only 249 as Robinson strikes him out. Two Ks for Robinson. We go to the Top of the third. Kevin Bass leading off. Again. God, this game is so stupid. It's unbelievable. Baker popping out. It's like we've already reached all of our hitting milestones. Maybe the Royals have as well. And with two garbage pitchers, you can't even get a hit. And then Willie Wilson gets a hit. All right, well, everybody knows Willie's going. is two outs. We would send him no matter what in this position. Low and outside, and Wilson steals his 58th base of the year. 24th as a Tiger. He is a league leader. Runner in scoring position for Trammell. With two down and a 1-0 count. Is that a base hit? Get down. No clutch hitting at all. We go to the bottom of the third. 
Here is Jose Gonzalez leading off. Another very young rookie, 19 years old, flies out to center field. I mean, if we were out of it, I'd be bringing up the young guys too, you know? Like, why not? So I don't really begrudge that, but it's like they're out of spring training and they're 17 years old playing center field and batting cleanup. You know, like, well, like, it makes no sense. Templeton with the first hit. Again, it's the number nine hitter getting the first hit of the ball game. How many times does that happen? Almost every time. And then Dozier strikes out for out number two. And the stank. Basic. Come on, man. This is all bad vibes. John Slot does something. Yep, this game's over. All right. And then the strikeout after the run scored. I, I mean, you cannot tell me that this game is not pre programmed. It happens every single time. Gibson, base hit in the center field. Well, say Gonzalez has no arm. We have, well, I mean, we're going to lose anyway. There's Gibson's out. So a 19 years old, old guy throws out um, Gibson, and then what happens? Kenny Smith strikes out, and George Brett grounds out. So this game, I wish I could just put it into um, uh, automatic mode and just have it play itself out. We're just clicking the buttons as quickly as we can. Terry Kennedy striking out. The old strikeout walk combo. Because, of course, 79% chance that Stone will be successful. And it's a curveball, so there's Stone's first stolen base. And then, of course, the strikeout, because why would we drive him in? Yeah, this game is trash. Absolute garbage. Gary Templeton will get his second hit. Oh, it flies out the center. Looks like that was going to be a duck snort. This could be the quickest game of the year. Oh, no, Stankowitz is going to ruin that. All right, I need a cup of coffee here. A cup of coffee to calm me down. We'll have lost six of seven, including big losses to terrible, terrible teams. And there's nothing we can do about it. The game has already decided that our team is done. So there's no play calling that's going to make a difference. We've already attempted three stolen bases. It's going to be four, and it's still not going to make a difference. Lombardi popping it up. Here's a left-hander. If I thought we could win, I'd probably just take out Robinson right now, but two outs. Here's the clutch hit. Yeah, fly ball to center. Yeah. This game is total horseshit. Everybody's popping up. All of our sluggers are popping up off of Keith Creel. Double play. This 
doing his fucking bullshit. An error. May as well try to steal second. Don't matter. Yep, this game was over before we even threw a first pitch. Let's bring in Keith Comstock. I feel like we haven't heard from him in a while. Yeah, lefty on lefty home run. 179 hitter with a slugging percentage just barely above 300. Fuck this game. Back to back home runs. Let's see if we can get three. Yeah, this game was over before the pitch was even thrown. Willie Wilson gets his first home run. That'll show you how desperate the game was to give up a junk run. It gave it to Willie Wilson, and it wouldn't even do it until they had a, a sizable lead that would not be surmountable by the game. That's his first home run in uh, basically two years. What a bunch of garbage this game is. Yeah, I mean, don't even for a minute think that we're going to tie it up. This is exactly the way the game is designed. We'll take out Smith as Al Holland comes in. Uh, I guess if we had to go with a right-handed bat, it would be Rusty Tillman. I kind of trust him. Um, shouldn't be a double play possibility with all this speed. Oh, no. Here comes the strikeouts. Yeah. So this is, this is the end of the game right here. Yep. I told you. Oh, shit. They, they both score? Oh, no way! The game is tied! What a bunch of crap! Well, now we can't... Um, what do we do here? Okay, all right. So we're going to... Let's just win it. We're going to pull out um, Kennedy and bring in Milner, right? And then we'll pinch hit Glenn Wilson. We'll steal second base. On a left-hander, by the way. There's Milner's first stolen base of the year for the Tigers. And Glenn Wilson has a chance. Get down. Yep. Yeah, so they gave us the three. We'll take it. Let's take a look at our defense here. Um, Marty Party, that's a defensive upgrade. What's Milner in right field? He's good. Um, all right. Well, he's left-handed, though. So we're going to go ahead and take Milner out for Marty Party. So we have one right-handed bat and one left-handed bat on the bench. Comstock will come out and we'll bring in our closer, our ninth inning guy, technically. He was terrible yesterday. This game is so dumb. Wait, does Dozier have a golden sombrero? No, he's got three. There's your in-game stats. Raleigh Eastwick's coming in. I believe he is in second place in games pitched, and he is not the closer. That's kind of amazing. Here's Kevin Bass, switch hitter. He's been total garbage. And he's going to go down the line. That's a double off the wall. Good job by Bass. Number 13. That is correct. And we got our best sacrifice bunner up. 
Man, we really need this win. See if he drops it like it's hot. In front of the home plate, Bass. Safe at third. They're going to pull the infield in. Um, I can't imagine he's a sack fly guy. He's 75. What about Barry Larkin? 99! That's a guarantee, right? Barry Larkin. Come in. Somebody's got to play center field. We're going to have a effed up defense, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So Barry Larkin's coming in. Sack fly of 99. Nobody out there's got arms. Oh, did they get a pinch? Def Are they got a defensive replacement? No. Sh oh, yeah, I guess they did because Pat Sheridan came in and hit a pinch hit. No, no. Defensive replacement. And then he hit a home run regardless. Okay. Well, that's just dumb, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. Barry Larkin to give us the lead. Sack fly. Never not going to hit a sack fly. You bitch. What a bunch of crap. All right, let's figure out this mess. Can Barry Larkin play right field? Nope. He can play right field. Trammell can play right field. Yep, he could. Dougie Baker would be the best option. All right, so Baker is going to right. Barry Larkin's going to second. This is this is gonna be bad. Dave Smith coming into the ball game. He really pooped the mound yesterday. Will he re-poop it? We'll find out. Pop up from Stankowitz. There's one out. Dirty Dawn slot. Brown ball to Tremel is short. Two down. Dave Smith coming out of the ball game. We'll bring in Paul Gibson. There's his splits. He gets the uh, lefties out pretty good. And this is this is an important out. Here we go, Fred McGriff. Ground ball to Brett. Oh. Top of the 11th inning. It's a good thing we burned through the first seven innings. This is all this free baseball. Gibby, he was two for two. Here's Rusty Tillman. George Brett, 0 for 4 against horrible pitchers. Make it 0 for 5. Okay, Paul Gibson coming out. And as far as I can see, we'll have him pitch to these three batters, whether we like it or not. Infield single. So that's the second hit by a guy batting 170 off a left-hander today. This is the ball game. It's over now. Um, there's really nothing we can do. Ground ball to short. And this will be the winning hit right here. Oh, no, I guess not. Gumpy Gumper coming in. Ground ball to first. Oh, moving on. Well, they're giving all the signs. Well, the Eastwood coming out for a third inning of work. Here's Marty Party. 
We're out of catcher, so he's got a bat. We're out of bat boys, otherwise I'd have them bat in front of Glenn Wilson. And he gets a hit! <laughs> I would have had a bad boy bat in front of Glenn Wilson. And then he comes through like that. All right. I mean, we have to hit and run. It's a double play made in heaven right now. Kevin Bass, he's one for four, struck out twice. Ground ball to first. And it'll get Big Willie to second. And uh, Doug Baker, 0 for 3 today. He could be a hero. 2 1 count. Fly ball to deep right. Eastwick officially tired. Okay. Gary Templeton leading off. Gumpert coming back out. Comebacker to the gump. There's one out. This is going to be an error. There's going to be a balk. It's going to be some bullshit that's going to end this ball game. Or an 18-year-old getting a triple. Oh, it's an oh, oh, I, I can't even believe it. An inside the park home run walk off. There's no way to predict that fucking bullshit. Tigers lose another game. I think they I think the season's over actually. I mean the, the there's the game is not going to let us win another game. That is that, I mean at least I'll give it credit for originality in how they just choose to destroy this uh long season. We'll take a look at the uh, standings. Yeah, now they're making everybody lose. I mean, look how dumb that is. Hey, the Brew Crew is done, officially. We'll take a look at their terrible team. Um, looks like they called up another catcher, Rick Arona. He's been up for 13 games. McGuire's back, Bachette. I mean, they have a young core that could be interesting they're not giving ray stevens a shot to catch anymore benzinger's out i mean why are these guys just not on your bench i don't know it's dumb and what do their pitchers look like well they got teddy Higuera. um mark ciardi is now their number five starter he's waiting to make his major league debut and Dave Stapleton, not the first baseman, but the Brewers pitcher named Dave Stapleton, has been uh, called up. Also, John Costello is a rookie September call-up. Terry Matthews, 19 years old, he just got into a game. So, I mean, I kind of like this part of it. I, I think it's fun to see um, the players that are kind of taking over. All right. So, yeah, we're three games up. Um, and they keep winning together, and we keep losing. So, I mean, who knows what the fuck's going to happen. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, now it's reversing. It's so stupid. God, this game blows. Headline news. I couldn't bother. Couldn't even bother to write a story about the walk-off inside the park home run by an 18-year-old. Or 17 year old or however old he was transactions nothing new all the same well let's pull up the box score and get out of here what a bunch of crap His first career home run is a walk off inside the park home run I'd say like and or subscribe at this point but uh, I'm not sure it's worth it Wait, oh, it was an error. Wait, was it? Oh, it was an error on Doug Baker in right field. <laughs> oh, no. It was a triple and an error on Doug Baker that allowed him to score. Because I, I, I looked up here and I saw the DJ Dozier did not have an RBI. And I was like, what? That doesn't, that's not right. And then I saw they had the triple. And then I'm like, oh, crap. 
Willie Wilson made an error in center field, and then it wasn't. It was Doug Baker in right. Well, okay. You know, so in that, you know, if you look at it a different way, like that's my fault for uh, not having a better uh, player in right field like Glenn Wilson or, or something. Uh, but we were playing to win. And it didn't matter. We were done in the first thing anyway. We had four stolen bases, uh, two caught stealings. I mean, we were we never had a chance to win. They gave us um, Willie Wilson gave, got his first home run. Um, but that's all we were getting out of that. So, uh, Gumper takes the loss on an unearned run. Raleigh Eastwick gets the win in three innings of relief. And, uh, yeah, I mean, our season is probably done. Okay, we're going to come back tomorrow. Uh, here's that video for the Panini Prism draft. Have fun. A lot of good future stars in there, including a couple that have already made it to the majors. So uh, until next time, everyone have a great day.